So for this website, I have listed categories in the menu bar. So all of these drop downs are like different blog post categories. So then if you click onto it, you'll see the blog posts in that category listed on the page that you click to. So to do this, you go to posts, all posts. So when you get into all posts, you can change that drop down where it says all categories and you can view all of these individual categories and see which blog posts they lie under. And I'm going to edit this first one that hasn't been categorized yet. So you can see that under the categories column, it says uncategorized. So we're going to edit this, go into it. We can see the blog title and the image that is currently in there. At the moment, this is just a dummy blog post, so there isn't much text, but normally there'd be multiple images, text, and anything else that you want to input. On the right hand side, you can scroll down and input a feature image. And if your theme allows it, this is the image that shows up alongside your blog post on the front of your website. So for this one, I'm just going to select the same image. I'm just going to add some text using the little plus tool. Just a little dummy text. Double checking everything in here that I'm happy with. Okay, now we go to the document tab and we're just going to go to categories and select which category we want. And we also need to remember to untick uncategorized. So now I'm going to publish. If we go back to the website, we can refresh that. And I'm just going to go into the menu, select that category, and the blog post should be within the category. So as you can see, there it is with its fe feature image and the text below it. That would just be a small snippet of text normally if there is like a huge chunk in the beginning of the blog post. You can click into it to see more, and here we are, we have the image once again, but you just need to remember not to put the same image straight away that you've used for your feature image, because then you'll get a repeat. Maybe think about applying that image further down within the blog post, so it's not a repeat of itself on the front end. And voila, that is it for that tutorial. If this video is going far too fast for you, by all means, don't forget to pause or watch it back. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. They are over on my channel. I do WordPress tutorials, Photoshop, Illustrator, the works. Um, you can also like and comment if this video was of use to you.